Let's learn about telling time today with this clock. This is a clock. This clock is a circle. And look, who's that? It's Mickey. Hi, Mickey Mouse. Let's put the numbers back, starting with the number one. Here's the number one. It's on an orange flower. One. Next is the number two. Here's the number two. It's on a blue parallelogram. Two. Next is the number three. Three is on a green triangle. Let's do the next number. Here's the number four. Four is on a blue square. And a square has four sides. One, two, three, four. And a triangle has three sides. One, two, three. Next is the number five. Here's five. It's on a purple pentagon. The pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. What's the next number? Yeah, six. Here's the six. Six is on a red hexagon. And a hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next number is seven. Here's seven. It's on an orange oval. Next, the number eight. Here's eight. The eight is on a blue octagon. Octagons have eight sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next is the number nine. Here's nine. The nine is on a green trapezoid. Next number is 10. Here's 10. 10 is on a blue rhombus. You can also call this a diamond. Next is the number 11. Here's 11. The 11 is on a purple rectangle. And last we have the number 12. 12 is on a red star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yay! Let's count our numbers again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's learn how to tell time. A clock tells us what time it is. A clock has two hands. A short hand and a long hand. The short hand tells us the hour and the long hand tells us the minute. When it's on the 12, we can say o'clock. Yeah, o'clock. Clocks always start at 12. If it's at 12, that means the minute is at zero. Zero minutes. And the hour is whatever number it's pointing to. So if we keep the minute hand at 12 and we move the hour hand, we can see all the hours. Let's start with one o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock. Let's move it to the two. Now we can say two o'clock. You try. Two o'clock. Great. Let's try it with the three. Three o'clock. You try. Three o'clock. Great job. Let's keep going. Now it's four o'clock. You try.
try. Four o'clock. Great job. What do you think comes next? Five o'clock. Your turn. Yeah, five o'clock. We can keep going all the way around. You say this number for the hour, and when the minute hand is pointing to the 12, you say o'clock. Six o'clock. Your turn. Great job. Now what time is it? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Let's move the shorthand again. Now it's eight o'clock. Your turn. Eight o'clock. Almost done. Now it's nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. Let's keep going. Ten o'clock. What time is it? That's right, ten o'clock. Can you do two more? Move the hand. What hand what number is the hour hand pointing to? Eleven. Eleven o'clock. Oh no, what happens if both the hands are pointing at the twelve? Did you say twelve o'clock? Because you're correct. Twelve o'clock. Great job! Now we know that whatever number the shorthand is pointing at, that's the hour. And the minute hand is the long hand. Whatever number the minute hand is pointing at, that's the minute. And if it's at the 12, then we say o'clock. There are 60 minutes in an hour. 60 minutes is one hour. And these numbers tell us what the minute is. See these little red dots? Each of those is one minute. Let's count starting at the top. One, two, three, four, five. That's five minutes. What do you think is here? How many minutes do you think this is? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five. So in between every number is five minutes. Five. So when you're learning how to tell time, it's important to know how to count by fives. This clock tells us how to count by fives. I'll say it and then you say it with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Remember how I said there were 60 minutes in one hour? Yeah, so every time we get back to 60, the minutes start again from one. Isn't that interesting? Let's say those numbers by five again, starting with five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Let's do it again, but a little bit faster. Are you ready? Starting with five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. You counted to 60 by fives. We can change the time to tell us the minute. If the minute hand is pointing at the one, that means that it's something 05. 
So let's see, let's put the hour here. 10 o'clock, 10. But the minute hand is not pointing at the 12, it's pointing at the one. So it's 10, oh, five. 10, oh, five. What if we move the minute some more? 10, 10, 10. The hour hand points to the big number and the minute hand points to the little number. 10, 10, keep going. 10, 15, 10, 15. We're gonna go down to the four, which means it's the hour is 10, the minute is 20. 10, 20, 10, 20. Let's change the hour. Let's make it in the two o'clock time. There we go. So the hour points to the big number and the minute hand points to the small number, the minute. So now the hour is two and the minute is 25, 2, 25, 2, 25, 2, 30, 2, 30, we're halfway there, 2, 35. What time is it? 25 2 40 2 45 2 50 2 55 Uh oh what happens when it comes up here to the 60 that means it's a new hour if it's 260 that means it's three o'clock if the minute hand is pointing at the 12 we say o'clock three o'clock yeah wow you're getting good at telling time now what about if the hour hand is pointing in between two numbers if it's in between two numbers, then you always go with the first number. So if I move this minute here and the hour hand here, it's in between the three and the four. That means it's in the three o'clock hour and some minutes. So this says it's three o'clock and five six seven oh it's three oh seven three oh seven now the hour hand is in between two numbers but you always go with the first number so now it's four ten four ten four ten let's try another one What number is the hour hand pointing at? It's pointing in between the six and the seven. That means we go with the first number, which is six. Six, and let's look at the minutes. The minute went just a little past 15. So let's count 15, 16, 17. That means it's six. 17 6 17 now let's ask some questions what time do you go to bed I go to bed at do you know what time I go to bed 7 30 I go to bed at 7.30. Say that with me. 
I go to bed at 7.30. What time do you wake up? Okay, the hour hand is pointing at the eight, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12, which means you say eight o'clock. I wake up at eight o'clock. Your turn. I wake up at eight o'clock. What time do you eat lunch? The hour hand is pointing at the 11, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. I eat lunch at 11 o'clock. Say it with me. I eat lunch at 11 o'clock. Mickey says, great job practicing telling time. Keep playing, and I'll see you at my next learning video. Bye.